Baldessara, I've seen that now a couple of times, and it's like you see the tear come down his cheek, and then she pushes on with looking up at the sky, and it just makes you want to cover your eyes. Exactly. It's, it's tough to watch. It's just again and again and again that, that she seems to go at him. And, you know, he did, Bodie Miller did open up the door to this line of questioning being asked because, you know, she, he did mention his brother in one of his first answers that he gave her, mm -hmm. but it was just from there. Why not stop? Why, why would you keep going after someone at this time when he's won a bronze medal? He has now become the oldest medalist in Olympic Alpine history, and, and you just want to see the tears so badly, and he had to stop. You saw him. He held his head down, and it was just it was too much for him, and then he ended up having to walk away. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's really incredible, too. I mean, this Bodie Miller, this is a guy who's not the most emotional person out there. This is a guy that was always, he was about feeling his run always, his ski runs and his races, mm -hmm. but he never really showed this kind of emotion. And to see this from him and after the year that he's had, you know, with his brother passing away, with a year off where he wasn't competing because he was injured, you know, he was in court battling for custody of, of his child. There was a lot going on and this was a time to focus on him winning a medal. So people have pounced on him, mm -hmm. but he has also come th to the defense of this, this reporter whose voice you hear, she was an Olympian, yes. correct? Yep. And they have had a, a friendship. Sure. She was familiar with the story, obviously, with the brother. Um, what has he said in her defense? Uh, he said that, he, he tweeted about it afterwards, and he said, uh, the, the tweet read, and, and I don't want to mistweet this, he said, my evo emotions were very raw. She asked me the questions that every interviewer would have. Pushing is part of it. She wasn't trying to cause pain. And, you know, sure, the emotions were raw. And yes, you know, maybe every interviewer would have asked about the emotional year that he's had, but... I know that I wouldn't have pushed like that. I understand. I've been in situations where people have broken down talking to me. I understand how you can accidentally or not elicit emotion for, from someone. But I feel like there's this line, yeah. and you just have that almost spidey sense when not to cross it. Certainly. There certainly is. And, you know, you even see her extend her arm out, and she's touching him afterwards, Oof. and she's comforting him. Yeah. And at that point, you know, I, I'm sure that she looks back on it, and she's probably not 100% happy.